Hey, welcome to the eighth part of this video series in which you will learn how to use the Firebase Authentication Service. In this video, you are going to learn how to make your app users sign in to the same account through different auth providers. Make sure to link the files you downloaded from GitHub to the project you have already created on the Firebase console. Then, we have to copy and paste Firebase links inside the merge.html file. Ok, let's add the click event to the merge with Twitter button and code the merge function which is basically consisted of the link with pop-up function. As you can see, we have both of the email and Twitter icons, which is a clear indication that this account can be accessed using email and Twitter auth providers. We have linked a Twitter account that hasn't been used before on this app, but what if we try to link an already existing one? Not sure if you expected this, but it generated an error telling us that this account is already in use separately. So, a workaround has to be done to solve this problem. First off, we need to store the current user's information in a constant. Next, we have to sign in with that Twitter account that we wish to link. Then, store the credential in a new constant. After that, we will delete the account and use the link with credential on the previous account and pass the Twitter account credential as parameter. That done, we need to re-authenticate with the Twitter credentials since they are the same now.
Ok, now what if we try to repeat this operation a second time? Another error message shows up and if we open the Firebase console, we will see that both of the accounts are gone. Let's break it down and see what's happening here. Second account cred will get the current account credential, which is the same for both the email and Twitter providers. Then using the delete function will delete that credential, in other words, the current user account has been deleted in the first place. To prevent that from happening, you can deactivate the link button after merging the accounts or use it as a toggle that will merge the accounts if they are not already linked or merge them if they are. Let's copy the merging function and make it a separate function. This function is going to be triggered only if a certain condition is met. Actually, that condition is if the current account isn't linked to the Twitter that the user wishes to link. Ok, let's forget about that for now and add the emerge function. The unlink function needs to know which provider the user wants to get rid of. You can find this information inside the current user object under the provider data property. Let's test this out. It works. As you can see, 
we manually added the provider ID to the function, which will not work if the index that we give to it is wrong. Also, we might need to use this function to unlink another providers, so adding the index manually is far from being the best solution there. So, in order to add that information dynamically, we need a parameter that holds the provider ID index inside the provider data array. To get that index, we are going to create a function that takes the current user and the provider ID that we want to check if it exists. Check if linked will loop through the provider data array. If the provider ID exists, it will return its index. If not, it will return negative 1. In fact, check if linked will solve two problems. It will indicate when to use the merge or unmerge functions, and it will inform the unmerge function which provider ID and where exactly to find it. Last thing to mention is that the user constant takes a bit of time before it gets filled with the current user object, which will cause a problem if you trigger the merge or unmerge functions instantly after loading the page, since the user constant would be null. So, we need to make sure neither of these functions get triggered until the user constant is filled with the current user data.
check the description for the project files make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification and see you in the next video